there's pedophiles in this video. Did I get your attention? Okay, good. So as you read from this title, I'm going to be talking about Kick. I've stated my opinion on Kick streamers and Kick in general, and I have stated before that I do not like Kick. I think it is a bad platform, not just because of like, oh, it's a platform better than Twitch. It doesn't have many rules like Twitch. Like, I think that's cool, but it's just the lack of rules that they have is what causes a problem because you could literally do anything. I could make a Kick stream, show my straight butthole to the camera, hair and everything, and they'll let it slide. Not only that, they promote gambling, really bad IRL streams, which promotes harassment to other people in a way, depending on the stream, and just a bunch of other things that I could keep talking about forever but that's not what I'm focusing on today I want to be talking about kick and the predator issue they're having aka there's a lot of pedophiles on kick so I'm gonna go ahead jump into this video but before I do I'm gonna do my plugging now go ahead follow all my socials they'll be down on the screen they will also be in the description also make sure to join the discord discord is gonna be linked in the description and go ahead stream my music by the time this video comes out my new song rooftop should be out could be wrong so make sure to go stream all my music under rugs follow my socials and join the discord and without further ado let's hop into the video first up riot lol riot lol is a streamer who mainly makes like omegle type of content that's what i've seen i don't really know what else he makes and yes i'm aware omegle is taken down i don't remember the actual other platform's name but i'm just gonna call it omegle for the sake of this video one thing you're gonna see a lot throughout this video is there's a common theme of people using omegle to talk to underage people and that's exactly what riot does he goes on omegle and talks to underage people usually underage girls it's one thing talking to underage minors and everything like that but what makes this worse is he will ask them sexual things and manipulate them to do sexual things i mean like you're 18 right <laughs> wait say you're eight i'm 19 how old are you 18. you're 18 nod your head if you're 18. You're a freaky ass nigga. like for instance there's a clip where there's a girl he was talking to who she was 15 and by the way for context he's 20 and the girl was telling him that she was 15 but riot proceeds to manipulate her to say that she's 18 by constantly saying oh you're 18 right you're 18 right and there's another clip where he does the same thing to another girl she proceeds to expose herself to him sexually and what he proceeds to do is have her at him on snap get her nudes and put them in his discord which he does this with every underage girl he will put nudes of them in his discord and by the way these girls don't know they're being streamed but he proceeds to manipulate many underage girls and saying they're 18 so he can see their private parts not only that he has a rating in his chat for all of his viewers he'll tell his chat to either spam one two or three one means smash two pass or three i can't say it because i'm gonna get age restricted but it's the um grape grape you could probably figure it out but he proceeds to do this type of content and do this to many underage girls he's known for it he's definitely well aware that he's known for it so you'd think kick would do something about this that oh shit there's a pedophile on our platform we should probably do something no in fact one of the ceos of kick has supported riot in the past and has donated to him despite knowing that bro is a sexual predator bro's edping out here everyone keeps mentioning riot yeah, riot yo yo holy f oh my god eddie bro god, man shut the f I just think it's sad that Kick hasn't done anything about this predator situation about Riot because he's still up on the platform, I believe. <laughs> I ain't done with these predators either, by the way. It, it kind of gets progressively worse as the video keeps going. Next, Derek Graz. So like I was saying about Riot, Derek does the same thing. He makes amigo content, talks to girls, but he also does like IRL meets up and stuff. Meets up and... Again, he would do the same thing, ask underage girls questions, sexual questions, and proceed to ask if they could expose themselves. Wait, how old are you? I'm 24. How old are you? 15. So can I see him or not? You frog! You freaky frog! You a freaky frog! But not only that, he does does something pretty bad. He would do this thing called secret streams where he would invite a girl over on Tinder to his apartment or house, wherever, and proceed to have sex with them, expose them, expose their nudes, all this stuff. And this whole time, they don't know they're being streamed. He puts off the idea like, oh, that's just my streaming setup. And by the way, if you didn't know this, that shit's illegal. Bobby, Bobby, models, sparkles and champagne. 
Like an example of this, there's a stream where he was doing one of these secret streams. He had the camera set up on the counter or something, and he had this girl on his couch. She proceeded to tell him, no, I don't want your stinky ass wiener in me. So he proceeds to bully her and harass her. Pretty much begs to have sex with her. Like, bro is really over here like, please, please, let me see the puss puss. Let me see the things jiggle. Please. I ain't never doing that again. And you know, Derek eventually got what he wanted and then proceeds to act like, oh, I actually had this on camera the whole time. No. No. Oh my god, I'm still alive! No way, I just had a girl. Oh my god! Oh, okay, okay, next, 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 next. Come on, I got y'all, bro! That was scripted! Your forehead big as shit! <laughs> Slap it. Not only this, Derek would proceed to sell these sex tapes that he made, whether it was in the past or on these streams, and sell nudes of these girls to his viewers. I'll give 10 gifts you send it to me right now. All of them. All right. 10 gifted. Coming away, buddy. Yo! Derby. Holy f bro, thank you. <laughs> Obviously, this is wrong. People have commented on this, including this YouTuber, Asher Show. He made two videos, actually. The first one being a video about Derek saying how all this was wrong, exposing him, essentially. So, Derek reacted to this on stream and stole Asher's thumbnail. And basically, that whole video was him saying that, yeah, I... I did that. Not only this, Derek was saying he lost a lot of money, lost a kick deal from all this so going on. So, thankfully, kick ban this dude basically in in the past three days man bro i lost everything bro i lost a five hundred thousand dollar deal um i lost up my house in miami womp womp cry about it and kind of summing up this whole situation bro's a pedophile and secretly filming women and selling their nudes don't be doing none of this don't be selling nudes to other people and don't talk to minors. This should be common sense. Now, finally, big reveal for this last one. I want to finally talk about Just X Snags. Now, I've said that there's some of the worst people on the platform. Jack Doherty, for example. But Jack might not be as bad compared to this dude. I get out of my body. That's my fault. Like, I don't mean no harm. But, like, them cameras come on. I just do retarded shit. I might spit in the cop's face today. I, I just might. So Snags is a streamer and like pretty much everyone on this list, he mainly does Omegle content. But Snags is someone who he will do anything for views. And I mean literally everything. He will do anything to get views and attention and get a famous clip. Like for instance, there's a clip where he's on Omegle talking to people and there's a girl on there and he proceeds just to fucking dog the shit out of her. And then she proceeds to hit him with some sign language saying that she's dead. You not bad enough. Your nose, you got the fucking beak on you. You look, you look like you stink. Comb your hair a little bit. Your lips look mad dry. Your hands is mad fat. You look crazy. Stop speaking sign oh language. Oh, that really sign so You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you not. Cause like, no, you do not, bro. Don't be with all oh, this shit. Yeah, just like everybody on this list, bro's a fucking pedophile. Yeah. <laughs> We got him. In this clip, he is on Amigo again, and there's a girl on there, and she was saying that she was 14. He is over there saying, I see that eighth grade Oh my. I can't believe I had to write this shit. If you, if I had to write this shit, you get to look at this shit. 14, 14. Yep. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that little? Sophomore's like 16. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade is this nigga serious? And of course, he he got his viral clip. People were attacking him, obviously. So he needed to make an apology for the situation. And it's top tier worst apology ever. Bro was over here saying that the clip of him was an AI. Saying the AI was saying pedophilia comments. Shut up, bro. Shut the fuck up, nigga. For once. Own up to your mistake. Don't sit there and say, yeah, chat GPT made me a pedophile. And one of the worst parts about this, too, is that he has done this multiple times times he claims to do this shit as a joke you know say all this shit to underage people be sexual with underage people but it should never be a joke to joke sexually with minors it's wrong sticking out your cock for the dreamer he's so pedophile you're a minor oh 
You thought I was done with him too? No, we're still going. There's a clip of him where he decided that this is El Chapo and the Mexican cartel. Now he proceeds to say that he's gonna piss all over El Chapo and say no one's gonna do anything. He will go up to a Mexican man and say fuck El Chapo, which why the hell would you do that? I'm every Mexican shot. Fuck El Chapo. Fuck El Chapo, nigga. I go to Cabo. Nothing's going to happen to me. Face out. I would say fuck El Chapo to a fucking random nigga in Mexico. I will piss all over that shit. Fuck Mexico. I will piss all over y'all land. Yeah, he's a Mexican cartel leader, but he's also a Mexican cartel leader. He will fucking chop you and your nuts up. Feed him to his dogs. And he still won't be done with you. And he obviously... Caught some backlash for this, so he needed to make an apology video. So what does he do? Goes on Twitter as he's taking a fat fucking shit and proceeds to apologize in that he's pretending he loves Mexicans. Everything's all good. He ain't racist no more. He loves El Chapo. And obviously, don't be doing this shit that he's talking about. One of the worst things too about not just snacks, but a lot of these creators, people are actually indulging in this behavior too. All three of these creators are promoting bad behaviors to their chat, to their viewers, because their viewers are obviously young and as kids, they're easily impressed by everything. And people like this should not have a platform promoting all this bad behavior. People who are manipulative, who violate others and disrespect others should not have an audience. And these are some of the worst people on earth. Granted, that's me saying that because they're pedophiles, but also they're pedophiles. All in all, be careful who you look up to. You never know who can actually be a weirdo. Now I can guarantee I'm not, but I'm just saying, be careful. That's all I got for this video. I would like to shout out Nax and Jabroni for making the original videos on um, Just Egg Snacks and Kick Predators. Um, they really helped with the script and helping me find information. Their videos are great. Go watch them. Link in the description. I would also like to thank you guys for watching my videos and watching this video to the end. Unless your TikTok attention span brain didn't even make it here. Leave a like on the video if you really liked it. Dislike it if you really hated it. Comment something below. Comment something nutty, dumb, stupid, corny funny whatever you want to comment i'll uh, make sure to follow all my socials join the discord in the link in the description and go listen to my music new song on all platforms under rugs go listen and make sure to subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 2k by the end of the year let's hit that goal and thank you all for watching and have a nice day this time i'm at I'm recording in the daytime ain't that some shit deuces okay, here's a lesson johnny tested hope i get a spit the west and never guessing i'm impressing all my haters that be stressing